Hey guys, and welcome back to the More An Hour podcast. I'm one of your co-hosts, Zach. One the other. So, before we get into this episode, go ahead, do us a favour, hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help us out. We do appreciate it, and it helps to promote the podcast. Uh, or if you're on Spotify, just rate us, I guess. Um, so, as usual, we're going to start off with the more on not section, as always. So, if you are new here, this section is where we get five random short words or phrases from you lovely viewers, and collectively decide whether that thing is moronic or not. It can be the concept, it can be the thing itself, it can be from one of our personal experiences, and it's entirely subjective, meaning you guys can have an entirely different opinion, and it doesn't matter because it's just a bit of fun. But if you have a different opinion to us, you're wrong. That's a joke. Anyway. <laughs> so, the first thing, or more on the not section, is watches. The watches. thing, The thing you put on your wrist to yeah. tell the time. <laughs> I feel like phones have become a substitute for that. Like, there's not really much of a point for it anymore. It's more of a fashion accessory, I think. Okay, yeah, true. Uh, I actually, I I quite like watches. I like wearing one. I wear one pretty much daily. Um, I mean, if people have met me, they pretty much know that. Um, I like watches. I've got many. None particularly high, high in value. Literally, my main watch is a 10 quid watch from Argos. So, not exactly the most high <laughs> end just... of things, but it does a job. It tells the time. That does remind me in uh, what's it, secondary school, uh, thirty-two tree. Oh <laughs> I yeah. Don't know if you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, from about seven years ago. Oh, God, yeah, we're getting um, old, you know. You want to re- elaborate on that? Yeah, why not? So, me and Dan for the first month of senior school. Uh, so Dan would come to my house, and then we'd walk to school. Um, we ended up using like a marker yeah. to like signify what time we had to be at a certain place by, and we it was by like this tree. So we started calling it the yeah. Thirty Two Tree as a joke. Uh, several months on, because we were baffed as to why we did it when we left like twenty minutes early for school when I live about five minutes away. But yeah, it was quite funny. <laughs> Year sevens are strange things, strange little children. Yeah, it's, it's year seven in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh bloody hell, voice cream. Yeah. So I like watches. They do. I mean, it does the job. But actually, I've got a question for you. Do you prefer analog mm-hmm. or digital watches? Probably digital. So I don't have to. I don't, I don't know. It takes like a second to think analog because digital it's just there yeah I do exactly. know how to tell the time of course that, that's exactly my reasoning because to me it makes sense that for digital I can literally look at my watch and it will say 3 colon 32 yeah. but on an analog watch it takes me a second to register like right that's a 3 that's yeah. 30 so it's 330 ish plus uh, digital watches are more precise and mm. a lot of them don't have batteries uh, I know some do, but my one doesn't. My one, the same, the same one I've been wearing since year four, is still going. Year four. Yep, I've had it since year four. Jesus. Uh, and we finished year thirteen, so a decade on, uh, it's still running and it's still alive. Wow. So. Wow. My, yeah. <laughs> my watches aren't that great. I think I had a few in my lifetime. They just like, they 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 just off themselves basically after like a few months. I mean that is because. Bear in mind they've been analog. Oh right, okay. If they're analog, that makes sense because it because they've got uh, watch batteries that have to be replaced every couple months to a year. Uh, but if you go digital, that you don't have to worry about it. So that's always good. Yeah, that's why digital is. That's another reason why digital is just better, to be honest. Exactly. So if you don't have a digital watch, mm. buy one. Anyway. Buy one. So I'm gonna go not moronic for watches. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go not. I mean, yeah, why not? I, I guess. mean, the, the they exist to tell the time. That's literally their purpose. Yeah. And it, it works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing nothing really about it, really. Right, the next thing yeah. is sliced bread. Sliced bread? So, to be honest, I think nothing can <laughs> top this. Yeah, 
Nothing can top sliced bread. Ever. It was that saying, the best thing since sliced bread. Exactly. That's because sliced yeah. bread was such an amazing invention that nothing else can top it. So therefore, sliced bread is the best thing ever. I mean, you have to slice bread. I mean, it's just not hard to figure out. I mean, you don't have to slice it. You can take a bite out of a loaf of bread if you really want. Don't see why you would, but I you can. can. Imagine, like, a group... I can imagine like a group of scientists just trying to figure out, like, you know, how to slice bread. When yeah. it was, like, the, fir- the, first, the first ever, like, person or group of people to, to do it. Yeah, but don't forget, Dan, it's even <laughs> weirder because you know how you bake bread to make it into bread? Yeah. Who thought to cook it again and make it into toast? Who decides, you know what, I'm going to overdo it. I'm going to overcook my bread. Go on, oh, I'll and I've got honest. toast. It probably was. Someone probably left the bread in the oven for too long and was like, oh, it's, you know what, I'm calling this toast. So... That is what is going on. Unless, unless it's one of those things which you can just kind of just... I mean, there's some things in the world which you just know. Yeah, true. I feel like it's just one of those things which... Bear in mind, bread, bread, you know, bread hasn't it, always it, been about. It wasn't like when since humans have been a thing, bread, was, bread just appeared. Bread... People made bread. Yeah, of course, yeah. That is the most... That is probably the dumbest statement I think <laughs> I've ever said on this podcast. People made bread. <laughs> but what do you put in a bread bin? What do you put in a bread bin? Bread. Yeah. Bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like stuff some people put like toast or something. Yeah, I mean I mean it's still bread, isn't it? It's just cooked. Again. Cooked. It's just you cooked for like the second time. Fried bread. Or is it toasted? That's the real question. Deep fried oven. Oh. Bake. Deep, deep fried bread. Why does that something? Like, why does that sound like something a Scotsman would do? It does, not it? I, I can't imagine the result. What deep fried bread? Yeah. You know what we're gonna do, Dan? We're gonna deep fry some bread, and we will get back to you on that. That that's my goal for the rest of this how, year. How, how much you can burn bread? Without it, like, just breaking into pieces or something. I mean, you leave toast in a toaster for too long, and you get... It's just all going to go black. Yeah, and it sucks, because it's burnt. You overdid it. You overdid toast. I've never seen, like, toast, which has just been purely black. I've had something quite similar in my old toaster. This was, like, five, six years ago now, but it was awful, because it was just ash. It's all I was eating. Ash. Wasn't great. Even with butter. And yes, people, I know I'm boring. I have butter on toast. Leave me alone. I know people put marma- marmalade, marmite, uh, no. jam. or some other random things people put on toast? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, you know what? I, I want to know. What's the weirdest thing people put on toast? Avocado? That's quite a weird one. Avocado, yeah. I feel like there's some maniacs that put like fruit or vegetables, shit like cucumber. Or cucumber on toast, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, that or is weird. Or something like that. Okay, right. We're going to go on to Reddit here for these answers. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you put on toast? Um, as you, as everyone knows, Reddit is a very reliable source when it comes to people's opinions. Oh, yeah. I'm completely joking and being sarcastic here for any Americans watching because you guys can't understand it. So, okay, someone said bread. The first comment on that is bread. <laughs> As in, and they called it a toast sandwich. Fair enough. I can't really fault you for that. <laughs> I mean, I mean in that. you can't you can't toast fault them for it, can you? What are you having for breakfast this morning? I'm having bread on bread. Yeah, bread. With a slight, with a side of bread, inside some bread. So it's just a sandwich with no filling. That's all no, it no, the 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 filling is bread. <laughs> so you know what? I've just googled definition of Not a sandwich because I need to know. So an yeah. the, a sandwich is defined 
as an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with a filling in between them eaten as a light meal. So technically, a, a um, bread sandwich yeah. does exist. And sand in a sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Why? Why would you put <laughs> sand in a sandwich? <laughs> Damn, what do, you call, what do you call a female that casts spells at the beach? Uh, oh, fuck. I don't know. A sandwich. Oh, funny. Yeah, I'm very funny, as you can clearly tell. Let's see what other weird things people have put on toast, shall we? We've got a vote soon. Um, yeah, we got time. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon and sugar. That's a very... If you put sh- that is the most American thing, you know. Sugar on toast. <laughs> it just... It, you Red, know what? No, yeah. Dan, I don't know if you know how bread is made, but you don't put sugar in bread. Or if you do, you don't put a lot of it. Americans do. Americans yeah. put a lot of sugar in their bread. That sounds like something... If you think America has a high obesity rate, there's another country called Nauru, which is in, like, Oceania, and their obesity rate is, like, two-thirds, apparently. See, that doesn't count, because the... Like, if you... It's a fucking tiny-ass country. Yeah, exactly. Like, Like, if you look at the ratio between skinny people to fat people in that country compared to fat people to skinny people in America, it's going to be higher in America. (laughs) But, oh, we've got another one here, which is really vile. Mustard and pickles on Mm. toast. Freaks. (laughs) Spaghetti hoops on toast. No. It's fair. I've seen a normal one on here. Beans. Beans on toast, that's pretty yeah. standard. Banana, you're a weirdo. Marmite, <laughs> absolutely vile. Ramen, you're just weird. What's that? Some ramen. Um, tinned mackerel, that's a fish. That's Why would you put fish on toast? <laughs> Cheese and barbecue sauce. Oh, I- I kind of want to try that, but I also really don't because it sounds foul. I kind of want to try that now. I'm not trying that on the podcast for anyone listening. If you're waiting for me to run downstairs to make some toast, I'm not doing it. Maybe I'll get back to you in the next episode about it. Nutella. Tuna. Tomato ketchup. You put tomato ketchup on toast. You're a freak. What does you put crab? Crab on toast. You're you're talking the crustacean that comes from the sea, just to confirm. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Why would you do that? No. I think we should vote because we kind of run out of time. Still weird. So they're they're the weirdest things that people could put on toast. If you've got any weird suggestions to put on toast, let let us know down in the comments or let us know on Instagram or whatever. But I'm going to go toast. It's not even toast. The thing that we're debating isn't even toast, it's sliced bread. We just went on a tangent about toast. Yeah. I've said toast about six times I'll in go not moronic. You know what, sliced bread, I'm going to go not moronic. I like sliced bread, nothing yep. can beat yep. it. That's why the saying is best thing since sliced bread, because it's amazing. What's the next one? Right, so the next one is posters on walls. So you get a poster, posters on walls. you put it on a wall. Um... Pretty standard behaviour, I think. You know, not really... It's standard, a... just light, lightens up the place. Exactly, it kind of brings a bit... It adds something to the room instead of just having a whatever colour your wall is, wall. So instead of having a cream wall, it's now got it's now a cream wall with something on it. It's like it's like a photo. Yeah. It's like yeah. it adds something to it. So... You know, I don't understand. It's, yeah, go on. Yeah. What I don't understand is like you see movies or just people in general where they put like posters of girls on like. Their oh walls. yeah, the classic American oh, teenager. Like, that's just so. That, that with their muscle so car. Weird. And all that, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. They, they or even, or like even girls, like girls in that, or even girls in those films with yeah. the boy band ones. Like, if you're that much of a fan, just don't be weird about it. Like. I, uh, I currently boy, boy, boy. haven't got any posters. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have a poster on my wall, but it's the size of an A3 sheet of paper because it wasn't uh, it was it wasn't mass produced. It was actually like only a few that were made. 
Uh, and it's for you, Avengers yeah. Endgame. I got it in cinema when it came out back in 2019. Oh, right. Yeah, 2019. Um, yeah. It's very cool. It's the only one I have on my wall. Um, Avengers Endgame. I just remember English Literature Revision. Watching a Mr. Buff video. What do you see in the live stream comments? Iron Man dies. Oh, right. Okay. Spoilers, <laughs> by the way. I'll be fair. If you haven't seen it by now, you're doing it wrong. That's so not really my kind of thing. Fair. Although, uh, action films are just... You need to have substance. I can't, like... I just think pointless action is so boring. Yeah. Thor Love and Thunder proved that. But anyway, swiftly moving mm. on, because I can't can't deal with that. I've got another poster that I need to put up on my wall, and I've had it for, like, six months. I haven't put it up on my mm. wall yet, purely because I haven't got any of the sticky tabs that you use to put on a wall. Um, oh, no. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I'll get I'll get around to it eventually. I'm sure, maybe in three years. Right, I'm gonna say not moronic for posters on walls because I have one. If I said moronic, I'd look like a hypocrite or just call myself a moron. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go not, not. Fair enough. Right, next one on here is cats, felines. Cats. Um, yeah. I I don't know what another word for cat is to be honest. Iron lions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Iron lions. Right. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. Think okay. About... You're weird. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. Looks like... If any Bee viewers lions. do understand it, then. Be lions. Yeah. Oh, fuck you! It's I... a bloody chemistry physic. It's it's a. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Even then, it's not a lie. It's feed li- whatever. Periodic table of elements. Um, it's F A. The symbol for F three is I. Yeah, I figured that out. Mm. So, I, I mean, to be fair, a lion is a type of cat. It's it's what we got taught in primary school. Um, Lions, tigers, are all, yeah. and leopards. They're all big cats, as they were called in primary school. They've probably got another name, but lion are a type of cat. So be iron to the power of infinity. Oh, quiet you with your <laughs> crappy jokes. <laughs> I mean. I don't have anything against cats, but I don't have anything going for them. It, very, uh, it depends on the cat breed, no, to be honest, because you can get there. you can. It's like dogs. You can get ones that are very tame. You can get ones that are very eccentric. Is that the right word to describe cats? Crazy, insane, what's mental. Thing, what's the thing about what dogs? See, that's actually a cartoon myth. And is there's that thing, isn't it? That like dogs. Yeah. So it's actually quite interesting, you know, right? Is, so it's, it's a cartoon. Thing. It's a thing that cartoons made up, um, as well as mice with cheese and dogs with bones. So you know how in cartoons you always see cats getting a bowl of milk or a plate of milk. Oh yeah. You actually shouldn't give cats or certain types of cats certain types of milk. I know how very broad and very yeah. vague that is, but there's, I can't do much better. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't give cats milk because it can give them um, some some issues, as well as mice with cheese. Uh, yeah. And it's different cat- with dogs and bones, yeah. but you shouldn't give a dog a bone because the dog can like rip the bone, or, or not rip the bone, but it can like chip the bone. And if it swallows yeah, it, it can be quite uh, bad for yeah. its digestive system. So, mm. yeah. Fun Fair fact enough. for you. Cats also hate mice. Allegedly. I don't think I've ever seen a cat oh, eat a mice. Eat a mice? Jerry. Eat a mouse. Uh, Tom and Jerry is... Just... Tom and Tom Jerry's Jerry elite. Don't even. <laughs> it's so funny. Tom and Jerry is think... amazing. The reboots, not one so of... much. The ones from when we were a kid... Brilliant. Yeah. One of my mum's friends, like, their granddad, when, when he was old, all he used to watch was the news and Tom and Jerry, because nothing ever it. made sense to him. Honestly, yeah. I rate it. That's what I want from my retirement. I wouldn't even watch the news. <laughs> I'd watch just... I'll tell you what, I wouldn't even watch the news. I'd just watch shows from our TV... Shows from our childhood. Apparently nonsensical logic, like a magnet attracting... Every, every everything every metal like object a in a mile, mile radius including the yeah. fridge no not even metal 
was like Bro, shit like the bed for example. Dan, don't tell me you've never bought a magnet and expect your fridge to come to you when you were standing uh, six uh, feet away. Uh, when I bought a magnet, I thought like, <laughs> yeah, I thought that would happen. I, yeah. I thought it would attract. Yeah. We can't count. We can't even clown Tom and Jerry. It's too elite. I'm so disappointed. It's a it's a great show. If if anyone hasn't watched Tom and Jerry as a kid, I'm sorry. You're not very smart. You're just not. You know what? Just for Tom and Jerry, I'm gonna say cats aren't moronic. Yeah, not moronic. Even though Tom was an utter moron and couldn't catch a mouse for like sixty or years or something. Entire show, yeah. Um, still good. Very much rated it. Right, the last one on moronic comment section for this episode is bracelets. Oh, bracelets. Oh, friendship bracelets. No, we're not going back to year one, and we're not girls, Dan. So we're not doing that. It's not a thing. Loom bands. Loom bands. Oh, I remember loom bands. If anyone remembers loom bands, let us know. I remember that was a massive thing in year five and six. Well, when we were in five and six. They they got did that. I don't. I can't remember if they got banned. But didn't they get recalled years later because they had because they were found to like disintegrate and turn into like. They were found to disintegrate, uh, uh, weren't they? I don't know. I think so. All I know is that all the trends, whenever something was trendy, the schools just banned it. Yep. Fidget spinners, bottle yeah. flips, yeah. loom bands. Bottle flips are currently good. I quite like bottle flips. Yeah, that was okay. They, they, okay. they were kind of funny. It was an actual challenge. Like, it's not normally something you do the first try. And it's yeah. not something that's like, too hard. Speaking of stupid school challenges, did you or anyone you know ever do the rubber challenge? No. Do you know what it is? What's that? What is it? Okay, so for any viewers and Dan that don't know this, there was a challenge when we were, I want to say, in year five to seven or eight. So a good few years ago. It, would, it wouldn't have been recent. Um, but the rubber challenge was when you would get a rubber... And rub it on your skin, on like yeah, your arm or something, until it goes red. I would imagine that. That's, that's um, a challenge. Someone that's just... I knew did it in primary school, oh. and they got in big, big trouble because. Um... Oh, what do you do that? Kids are stupid. It's such a dumb thing to do. Yeah, one kid I knew did it all up his arm. Uh, the school, he got in big trouble with the school um, yeah. for doing that. If you remember that kid, anyone that went to school with him. Uh, and you remember him doing it. If you have a video, don't send it in. I don't really want to show that because it's not exactly a great thing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but, yeah, going back to the original point, bracelets. Bracelets. Um... I quite like them. Yeah. I know a lot of people, I know some people wear them for religious reasons. Uh, I don't know what religion it is. I'm not going to insult any of them by attempting to guess. Uh, um, it's one of those African religions that no one knows about. It could be. I, I I'm not going to comment. Um, I I know I know my uh, one of my friends used to wear one for religious reasons. Well, let's have a look. Uh, Sikhs. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm, I'm assuming you've yeah. Googled this and aren't just taking wild, yeah. wild stabs in the dark. No, it's Googled. Cool. I want to find some really, like, bizarre religions that no one knows about. There's tons of them. Kabbalah. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Well, I don't mind bracelets, uh, whether it's for religious reasons, personal reasons... Sentimental reasons, whatever. <laughs> I just googled. I was, I was just googling the religion. So right. I, I was try, I was trying to Google religion worldwide. Like googled religion worldwide. Oh god. I don't think that's how religion works, Dan. <laughs> uh, bracelets. Uh, I'll go not moronic on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna say not moronic. I quite like them. Um. Yeah, it's one of those things that you don't really buy it for yourself. If you know what I mean, like even if you're like if you're whether you're male or female, you don't really buy a bracelet for yourself. I feel like that's more of like a gift. It's like it's yeah. like it's like a necklace. You don't buy it for yourself. You buy it for as a gift for someone. 
Yeah. If you know what yeah, I mean. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, I quite like them. Right then, the wrap up of the moronic or not section. So, watches, not moronic. Sliced bread, not moronic. Posters on walls, not moronic. Cats, not moronic. Bracelets, not moronic. I think that's one of the know? first. I think that's the th- second or third time we've done that now. So, yeah. that's pretty cool. So, thank you, you to the viewer. Really thank you to the viewer who sent those in. Um, you know who you are. Uh, send us in your moronic or not section suggestions, um, and you will see them in a future episode. Hopefully, as long as they're not rude, offensive, or anything of that sort. Um, but yeah, it's going to be. That's that. So moving on. Well, there's a religion called Confuckianism. Lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> Rastafarianism, where the flag of the religion is right. just a flag of Lithuania with a lion. Fair enough. Can't can't really fault it. Why would you make up your own flag when you can just steal someone else's and add something to it? Except for when there's copyright. Like most flags. Andorra, for example. Moldova, I think they do that. Oh, I don't know. Netherlands. Um, Luxembourg. Yep. Um, like Romania, Chad. Oh, this is out. Ivory Coast, Ireland. Why are you naming flags? I don't know. Fair enough. We were talking about that, yeah. Okay. You know what? I went on holiday recently to America. Yeah. And first things first, I'm going to say it. There's a lot of fat people. It's just the way it is. I'm I'm not going to try and be polite about it. There's a lot of fat people. I know some people prefer the term obese or, I don't know, I prefer horizontally tall because then it takes a minute for them to work out what I've said by that time I've walked away and they can't what say anything. I used to call my, what I used to call my GCSE computer science teacher colossal magnitude. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. We did use to call yeah. that. Um, she went away for 12 weeks and claimed that she was sick. Or was that because of the just, car just, accident? The first, second, just, hit by a bus? Yeah. I don't know. There's so many things wrong with that teacher. Anyway. Um, she left now. Probably. So... As I've said, I went on holiday to America. Um, so what I, what I noticed, right, is not just the abundance of fat people. Um, while I was in America, uh, you know, like the stalls, like toilets, in like public restrooms and stuff. Yeah. Um, they've got a massive gap on the bottom, yeah. right? And a massive gap at the top. Oh, right. Like, you know how right. in the UK, the toilets are kind of like, they're either rooms... Where, like, they've got full-on walls and then door. Yeah. Or it's, like, a... Or it's a stall and you've got... It goes to the floor, to the ceiling, or to the bar at the top or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, in the US, that's wrong. That They don't have that. They've got a massive gap at the bottom, massive gap at the top. So there's no privacy in them at all. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. I, I didn't use any of them because, one, for that reason, and two, I'm not going to use public restrooms, especially not in America. Um, the toilet's like four foot wide or something. Yeah, probably. But, like, I don't know why you would do that. Like, have a massive gap at the bottom and top. Because it just lets everyone, like... If, you, like, if you're fairly tall, you can probably just see in them. You know, you wouldn't even have to be I fairly just... tall. You'd probably have to be 5'11". Maybe 6 foot. And then you'd be, uh, probably be able to see in most of them. That's not advice for anyone that's weird. That's an observation. But um, but also, in America, right, in the stalls, there's a there gap. There's a gap, Japan. like, in the door. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... Oh, right. You know how, you know, doors usually work? There's no gaps in it between the door and the door frame. Yeah. In America, they don't have that in the toilet stalls. They've just got... They've got, like, a a centimetre, centimetre and a half gap between the door yeah. frame and the door, which doesn't sound like a lot, but bear in mind it's to a toilet and you can see in at that point. Oh, right. It's very weird. Um, don't understand it. It's weird. Um, and also, I went to a water park, right, and obviously at water parks you've got showers there. So, you know, shower yourself yeah. after you've... <clears throat> gone in the swimming pool and you smell of chlorine so obviously in them they don't have doors as well they have curtains uh so they've got one curtain for like the changing bit and then another curtain for the the shower bit 
Um, mm. The curtains weren't long enough to go from wall to wall. Oh. So it was, you'd have like a centimetre to two centimetre gap from the wall to the curtain if you pulled it all the way along. Yeah. So again, you'd have no privacy. America, sort it out. Um, Make America great again. <laughs> no, we're not promoting, no, we're not doing this again. Oh, no, no. <clears throat> but anyway. it, it's very weird, America. It's a very odd place. But oh, yeah. you know what? I've got to ask you this because we're talking about holidays at this point. What is the weirdest thing that's happened to you on holiday? Uh, not really much. It's just mainly family arguing. I know my cousin, I broke his ankles on a water slide once. Hold on. Um, broke his ankles on a water slide? Yeah, the freaking... It's not like a great water park, but they, when he went down it, they switched off the water halfway down. Oh, that's um, just health and safety 101 right there. And, and then when and when we tried to get the middle, because we thought it was all in Spanish, there was no, they didn't even provide us a translation. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. probably, that, that is quite weird. I'll tell you what the weirdest thing that I've had while on holiday... And it, it was a holiday, like but it was also a school trip. They like sued the water park for it. I don't blame them. Well, that is something you could, you could sue them for. I mean, yeah, if you break your ankles because they shut the water off halfway down mm. when you're on a slide, then yeah. So I don't think they did, but like... Should have done. That, 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 That's they, not advice. Yeah, you should have. That's, That's free money, isn't it? If, if I you, mean, if, if you're can we just say, we do not... Like, this is not advice. This is not an advice podcast. You'll get very little actual advice. Um, but I'll tell you what the weirdest thing that I've had while on holiday is and it was a holiday but it was also a school trip you were there so were some of the older boys um, mm. when we were I say the older boys I say I mean that as in Jake and Rob that were previous hosts on the podcast uh, they were also yeah. there Iceland as you know oh yeah oh, Blue Lagoon uh, European changing rooms don't have um, <coughs> doors or walls well, they yeah, have walls, and then when you but want to you know what I mean. Shower, it's not, yeah. The, the shower, it's yeah. communal showers. It's, it's in, communal changing, as in there's, there's no stalls there. that you can get in yeah. and change. It is just it's just a bodyguard there, like checking. Yeah, there's just if you're not, not where it, it's so weird. Yeah, it is a bit. It's a bit odd. It's yeah. very odd. Um, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. That's a very weird experience that I've had while on holiday. Oh, but yeah. I don't think I've had any other weird ones. Um, could be wrong, but yeah, I think that's probably the weirdest experience I've had. Yeah. Or in anyway, France I'll... when we ate a snail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually. That was a weird. That and was a then... very weird experience. Yeah. yeah. For anyone just... that for anyone that needs advice, this is some advice: don't eat snails when you're in France. They're absolutely grim. <laughs> I mean, you it, it it's each to their own. Like if you like them, fair enough. I don't. They're Weird, slimy, disgusting, dirty creatures. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, I was looking at another thing. Japanese toilets. Oh, okay. So you do, like... Yep. It, it's like a toilet, you know? It's like the toilet, then there's, like, the stand or something to attach it to the ground. Yeah. There's no, like, stand. It's a toilet built into the wall. Yeah. That does, like, spray wash, egg... Oh, oil. yeah, they... So Japan, yeah, as, it, as everyone yeah. knows, is very technologically advanced, and their toilets are no exception. Uh, they've got they've got a bidet built into the toilets, to my knowledge. Yeah, but, yeah. I think they have like paper towels there, like water spray, like probably a dryer. They have a night light in it on the toilet. Like I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> if I went to a toilet, if I went to the toilet, and then a bidet started occurring I would not be happy with it like no I wouldn't be surprised if, if there's like if it starts playing music or something oh, like that yeah it's actually just the toilet it's is like actually play- its own bluetooth speaker it's just like a playlist dear, oh, dear. Um, which you can choose the song like built it built into the actual seat yeah touch screen <laughs> yeah you got yeah you got an, a, a, an <laughs> iPad touch. built into the toilet so you can just like play games or whatever <laughs> scroll for Instagram do whatever it. people do on their phones in the toilet yeah 
I've never understood. I've never understood that actually. People that bring their phones into the bathroom. Most people with them. that drop their phones into the toilet. <laughs> like I don't bring my phone into the bathroom, borderline ever. Obviously, if I'm in a, if I'm in a public restroom, that you know, there's not a lot you can do about it. But if I'm like in my house or a hotel room or yeah. something, I won't bring my phone into the bathroom with me because it's grim. Like, I know a lot. A I know it's a fairly yeah. common practice. People scroll Instagram, TikTok, watch YouTube videos, watch a Netflix show. I don't know what people do on there. Um, I find it a bit weird, bit bit grim too, because yeah, it's fairly obvious yeah, why it's, it's fairly odd, disgusting. Yeah. But, yeah, no, not a bit of me. Yeah, no, that's very nice. Have you got any other so, topics? So, you know what, I will, I, will, I, will, I will say this, just going back to the holiday topic. We, it's very odd, America, because you know how in the UK the tax will be in the price tag? So it will say three ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In America, it's not. So it will be three ninety nine plus tax. So it will be like three ninety nine. It will actually turn out to be four twenty five or something. I don't know the actual percentages. Oh, but something like that. Yeah. It it adds tax on afterwards, which is so oh, misleading. Because if I see something, oh, that's only five quid, or oh, that's only five dollars. No, it's actually like six and a half. Why not just add I it on? It's something just pop today just to make more money. Oh, yeah, probably. Um, very weird, very stupid. Uh, I mean, that could just be my eyes because, well, I'm used to British things. Um, but I will say one thing. American food just are very dense. So you know how in the UK you can eat, yeah. you can eat, let's just say, a steak and fries, for instance. Ten ounce steak and fries. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a very... Yeah small meal it's not a very large meal and yet yeah you start eating it in America and the chips are very dense in themselves and so are the steaks I know that doesn't make a lot of sense but it is it, it's it's denser yeah I know. and it's odd it's very odd I thought like that just fills you up more quicker yeah just, it also really want to get full. It's because there's more calories. Yeah. Like I went to a restaurant in America, right? Um, it's like a little, yeah. it's like a diner restaurant, but not a diner. I I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. Um. And I kid you not. Guess how many calories were in a strawberry milkshake? That's probably like five hundred or some shit like that. Seven hundred. Fuck. In a hell, strawberry like... milkshake. That's like a third. Jesus Christ. That is... And, and, and that is, daily? like... That's no. basically a third of your daily intake as a standard male. Yeah. Average human male. Like, obviously, it varies from person to person, but that is roughly about a third in one milkshake. <laughs> that is ridiculous wanna... amounts of sugar. I just want to quickly interrupt you my mum just texted me a text uh, sent me a text yeah so she sent she said like oh what time is best for you on friday to leave and then she says the train journey is one hour to at pancreas king's cross then me your dad what okay so what she means is it's an hour and a half to uh king's king's cross and pancreas which is a station in london uh, and then pan- pan- I'm assuming the yeah St Pancreas yeah it, it's it's called yeah, King's Cross St Pancreas it, it's it's it one station King's technically Cross. that's what it's called King's Cross St Pancreas it's such a shit name yeah what's the next one Liverpool Street and Liver yeah Liverpool Street yeah um I don't know yeah I don't know it's weird Right, so, but yeah, American foods are so fatty and so dense. Like, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Yeah. It, it, it is very odd. It is a bit, yeah. It's... I'd rather get full on actual meat than just sugar. chips. Because... All of their food contains at least 25 grams of sugar. Oh, no, those, those dessert meals. And drinks. Just... It's ridiculous. The dessert 
There's a certain milkshake so nice, but you can only ever finish like half of it. That's because it's got 700 calories in a strawberry one. It's just too much. Like, why do you need... How do you have that many calories in a strawberry milkshake? That's what I'm confused well, about, right? Because the amount of sugar that must be in that is ridiculous. Yeah, it's... But I do like one thing about American menus is that, and it's starting to come into the UK, but it's not still not massive, is that the fact they put the calories on the menu. Yeah. Because in the UK, they don't really yeah. do that. They're starting to, but it's it's not everywhere. But in the US, they have to, I think. Yeah. Like, they, everything has calories on the menu. So that's pretty handy. Yeah. Um, especially if you're, like, doing a My Fitness Pal thing or health, I don't know, fitness thing. Um, but yeah, American foods are dense, filling, filled with sugar, and mm. is ridiculously, ridiculously fat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's quite shocking. But I tell yeah, you what, it's... I tell you what is quite weird, right? I I overheard this discussion while waiting in a in a line uh, at one of the parks I went to. Right, mm-hmm. I can't remember what what line. I can't remember what queue. Whatever. I overheard two women talking, saying, "Do you have to tell someone if their child is ugly?" What? So like, I guess what they mean is if someone has like an ugly baby, do you like do you tell them or do you just do the standard? Oh wow, that's a like and then you compliment the baby, or is, or do you think you just go, it it, no, because they I don't know I just overheard it and I found it was quite interesting thought about discussing it here, so yeah what do you think do you have to call someone do you have to tell someone no. if you think their baby is ugly, there's, there's nothing really to for the family. To, do, I mean, yeah, you can't do anything game. about it, but would you like? Uh, okay, so imagine yeah. you had a kid, right? Yeah. Imagine you had a, a baby. Would you want someone to say it? it, it it's hideous. It's it's an ugly baby. No, because it's just no. It's un- unnecessary. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. But so, say if you ask someone, so say if you ask my opinion on your baby, mm. and I and I said it's hideous, mate. What what like it's, do you think that's it, like if I ask you for an if someone asks you for an opinion on your baby and you do think it's hideous do you think you should lie and say it's not or do you just tell them the truth and be like yeah it's ugly baby <laughs> just lie about it because there's nothing really you can do I mean yeah there is nothing it's not like you can take it back to hospital being like yeah this one's ugly I don't want this one <laughs> like it's not like you can do about it and give you give me a new one I mean you could try again but. Might come out hide- more hideous than the last one. Who knows? How much is another one? Yeah, how much do I have to pay for another baby? Um, I mean, America, their health system's dodgy. But I'm not getting into that. Not this episode. We'll do a separate episode on that. Mm. Um, actually, you know what? I like speaking. Seeing as we've spoken of America, I want to see what the average weight is in America oh god I wonder right average weight in America and we go average average weight in the UK I don't mean this to be spiteful or anything the only reason I'm doing it is because I would I would quite like to see how big of a difference it is Mm, okay yeah so Okay, right, that's just not helpful. It's given... So I googled it, and it's it's in pounds. No one weighs himself in pounds. Right, so the average UK male mm-hmm. weighs roughly 83.6 kg. What's that in pounds? Don't know, don't care. 83.6 kg is the average human male. 
That's that's an official statistic from the ONS. Uh, and in the US, it is 89.7 kilograms. So it's not a massive difference, but considering the size of them, it's pretty mental. Um, and I'm not saying any of this to be spiteful, um, but the thing is, a lot of the time it's not their fault in America because their foods are so filled with sugar yeah. and fat and lard. Um, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know what lard is, I'm pretty sure it's congealed meat fats. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly sure it's congealed meat fats. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're... they're their food is so much more calorific than in the UK. Yeah. And I guess it's not their fault, but at the same time, surely you get to a certain weight and then you start to look at yourself and go, I should probably do something about it. Yeah. But surely if you, if you're struggling to walk or get around or you're having heart problems or something, surely you should do something at that point. And maybe look at yourself and go, maybe I should lose some weight or, or attempt to. Mm. That that might just be me. That, I, I know it's easier said than done, um, but and I can't really say it as a skinny guy, but I mean, surely, surely you should look at yourself when you're struggling to walk because of the weight. Yeah. Not, not if you had knee surgery or something. That's that's you can you can't do anything about that, but. But you know what, going back to babies slightly, I had this thought uh, a couple of weeks ago, before I went on holiday. Have you ever had a baby stare at you? No, not... Like, not, you're at a restaurant, yeah. and there's a baby across the table, or on another table, and the baby will just stare at you. No. Because it happened to me while I was in I America. Literally, <laughs> I was sitting, eating my meal... With my family, you know, standard standard things at a restaurant. Yeah. There's a baby uh, on on another table, a couple tables down, uh, in its high chair, doing whatever it was doing. And it just stares at me. It was literally just staring at me for ages, and I'm just... There's nothing you can do about it. You can't just say to it, stop staring at me, can you? So, I don't know, it's a very weird thing. It's yeah, like, it's... if you've got... I mean, obviously for a baby, you can't... You can't exactly say anything about it and say, like, oh, stop it, you weirdo. But, I mean, it's still a weird thing. Because, you know, if someone's staring at you, you're kind of looking at yourself like, have I got a stain on my shirt or something? But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. When a baby stares at you, it could just be like, damn, he ugly. Or it could just be dumbfounded at what on earth am I looking at. But, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. So, so, when yeah. you know when you've been on holiday, what is not the weirdest experience? What is the most terrifying experience? And I'm not talking like That's I'm not talking like I went on a ride and it did a loop de loop. Like no, I want genuine no, no. fear. Like what do you think is the most terrifying thing that's happened to you or happened to someone you know on holiday? I don't really think anything has really happened. It's just been. Oh, no, no, nothing bad has really happened, to be honest. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, it might not have done. I'm just purely curious, because I don't think I've ever had anything like that, not while on holiday. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's ever a thing for me, but... Viewers, let us know if, you, if you've had anything similar to that effect. Um, and let us know if you've had a baby stare at you for a long period of time. Because it makes you feel kind of uncomfortable as well. Yeah, like, it does. It's, yeah. It's, if someone's staring at you, you feel a bit un- you feel a bit conscious about yourself. Mm. But if a baby's doing it, it's like I don't I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> so let us know your weirdest holiday experience. Let us know what you think about bread um, and posters on walls, and if you use an analog or digital watch, um, and if you watch Tom and Jerry. And if you've ever been to America and seen any of these weird things we talking we talked about this episode, yeah, we've we've yeah. got a surprise uh, coming at some point. Um, right. I don't want to announce what it is in case it falls through and it doesn't happen, but yeah. we should have a surprise coming uh, either in December or the New Year, most likely the New Year. 
but if you guys have enjoyed the video go ahead hit that like button and if you want to see more like this you can go ahead and subscribe we will see you in the next one bye, bye. guys